on. Hey everyone. So I'm going to do a double bottle bottom pour. Um, I saw this technique on Erica Hughes' channel, so check her out. Um, I've done them before. I want to do another one, but I'm going to do pink, black, and white. They just go together. <laughs> so what we'll do is I'm going to lay black down first. And then I'll put this underneath of this one. And we'll put, do one pour over top of this. Remove this. And this one will be offset. And we'll do another pour over this one. So we're pretty much going to stretch most of the black off. But I don't want white because then the white will speckle up through. Because these paints all have silicone in them. So I thought I'd explain it before I get any farther. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up some, or shake up my paints. So the colors that I am using are Artist, Artist Loft Brilliant Magenta, Soho Rose Matter, Lucas Rose, and this one is Deco Art Berry Metallic. I have a pink Terlamine too, but it's not quite dark enough. I'm moving those. Get my black down. Normally I do this before I start the camera, but I wanted to explain um, the bottle bottoms on the white canvas so you could see what I was talking about. And it doesn't have to be centered. Um, when you're doing it. I like them offset as well. Uh, they just look a little more abstract that way. But if you're going to do it and want to leave it in the center, don't use a ton of paint because it will puddle in the middle and you may get some cracking as it dries. You want it to dry really slow if you have a lot of canvas or a lot of paint on your canvas so it doesn't crack. I can go ahead and add. It's so messy. I say that every video I use black. It's so messy. I don't even bother wiping my gloves. I just change them. <laughs> okay. So I'm filming this on September 11th. We have a hurricane coming to our area. Uh, we are north of Raleigh, but we are expected to get uh, up to 20 inches of rain. So our power will more than likely be out, but I wanted to make sure that I had enough videos for you guys to watch while we were gone. And if our power doesn't go out, we may do a live just to update everybody on what's going on. <coughs> okay. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this right in the middle. And then I'm going to do this one so that it's a little different than that one. So I want the runoff to be where the point is on that one. Okay. So we're going to start with the berry metallic. And then I'm going to go with the Lucas Rose. And they're already interacting together, which I love. A little bit of white. And then the Soho Rose Matter. I didn't have a lot of shades of pink. Okay, so I want to break those up with white. I just want to do one tiny layer again.
So I'm going to let that set for a second before I pull it off. And when you're removing, you want to have your hand ready so you can catch your drips if they drip. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and let that flow to that bottom. And we're going to start again with the same colors. I'm trying not to use a ton of paint. I'm just coloring it. So while you're here, if you haven't subscribed, click on that little button below hit that little bell for notifications of new videos check out all our links below for Facebook and Etsy and shop with us on Amazon get your painting supplies everything we use is there uh, if not um, we usually leave a link for the other things that we don't have in there I dripped <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and take this one off. And this is where I'm going to bring my skewer in as soon as it stops moving. I like to put lines in mine just a little bit, just for a little design. helps to create something in the middle so it's not just a big black blob there and a lot of times I'll just take and do a little swirl ready to start tilting. This is where you want to be really careful though because you know all that paint setting in the middle. So you just kind of want to stretch it out first. So you don't want to really make a circle because then you'll get that inside doing a little swirly stuff and you'll lose that flower shape. And you don't want to go over your edge. Not yet. But if you keep all your paint together, you can keep a lot of that flower. Okay, so I'm going to bring it back to the middle and decide where I'm going from there. So I think I'm going to come this way first since I have that dot. Get rid of that. paint back to that middle. And I'm going to head this way. Now like I said, you don't have to take it off. You can leave it there.
I like the way those edges are selling out with the black. So much better than if it would have been white. Because we have that black in the center. Okay. Now I have to work on getting that shape back. and see if we're going to be bringing up some cells. I should just take it off. It's not worth wiping it off. <laughs> Air bubbles first. first and we'll go through just see if we get anything new most of my cells show up when I first um, pour my cup when I first flip or when we first put it on but <coughs> I'm sorry these were all done individually so it's just an overlapping cell like here and here so it gives it a little more interest. It's definitely eye-catching. So I'm going to wipe these edges off and then I'm going to give you a close-up. And hey, this Stone Coat Art Coat Resin code is still available. If you still want to get some resin to try, that link is below as well. And our fan mail post office box link, or Information is below as well. If you want to send us a card or a letter or a gadget to play with or a game. <laughs> so it's really pretty. It's psychedelic. But of course, you know, black and pink always go together. And look at that runoff. Oof, I'm going to get some beautiful skins out of that. So that's it for that one, guys. Um, we'll keep you posted on hurricane information as we can. Um, if we lose power, I'll try to get a hold of someone and they can post an update on our Facebook page to let you know what's going on. So you're not wondering. I know I worry about people too. There's several artists that are on YouTube. Uh, Sandra Lett and Lily's Mix. There's a bunch of us that live here. Um, and they are actually closer to the coast than I am. So as we hear anything, we'll keep everyone posted. And that's the best what we can do. So keep us in your thoughts and prayers for a safe return to YouTube. And that we don't um, have too much flooding and it's just going to be a hot mess. But we are keeping a positive attitude. So thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you soon. Bye now.